have regrets. Yes, sir. Because of trust. Yes, sir. You trust who you are not supposed to trust. Exactly. You gave your life to who you are not supposed to give your life. Give your heart, your time. Hundred percent, sir. I can't fall in love anymore. I can't date anymore. I can't be in a relationship anymore because I trusted the person whom I thought we were gonna settle together. But things didn't work out. And this person left you in serious pain. It's true, sir. He allowed both of you to work together and it looked as if when he started making money, that's when he ran away. I mean, it's true. This thing made you, you even said something. You were angry. You cursed him. There's a curse that came out of you. I said, God will punish you. Even today, I haven't forgiven him. But he moved on with life because he's married to a South African woman when he left me in Zimbabwe. He left, is your husband in Zimbabwe? I'm, he's not my husband. He's your guy? Your, he, he, he was my guy. The okay. person I was dating from school, he came to South Africa to work. He started sending me money when I was home. Then I told him things are getting bad in Zimbabwe. I need to come back to South Africa. He said, you can come and have a look at job. Maybe you can get something. When I get to the border, the phone wasn't going through. I never see him again. But I know he moved on. He's married with five kids now. That night you were crying, you cursed him. Yeah, I prayed and fasted for him. And that day you were not wearing clothes. You, you, you went too far. You went too far. I mean, and now he's blocking your life. Even every day you still think about him. You still, you are still angry with him every day. It's true, sir. You can't be free. That's why nothing good is coming to you because uh, you are the root of the cause. It's just a fruit of it. Cause works in two ways. It operates with the person that cause and the person the cause is affected. That's why I'm here, sir. All I need is deliverance for me to be in a relationship if, again to be in life with other people. If you forgive him, your own life will open. Amen. It's from today, I will forgive him. Sincerely? Sincerely? Oh, now I'm asking you, are you forgiving him sincerely? Yes, I'm forgiving him sincerely. You will come and testify. Amen. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your father had many properties. They have heard you for so long. It's from the first day you are you are trying to build. Yes, sir. From immediately you got to the place where this height. Yes, sir. Before we begin to think of adding another layer. Yes, sir. The thing hang. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. It's true. There is a house I'm building for my mother. I couldn't even finish that house. Mm. It ended there. And today you see me here. I'm going through divorce with my wife. I came here with my worker. I said today I must see this church. I've been seeing on Facebook long time. Today I said I must come. I find it waiting. I came here with my worker. He's there. Yeah, come. Where's the worker? Alice. I told you. Jesus caught me there because I couldn't stay alone. So now you say your wife is leaving you? Yeah. We're huh? getting divorced now. Today? Yeah. We, we, we're going to start tomorrow, uh, Monday. So she's packing her back too? Yeah, that's why we must go to court. So you don't want her to go? I, I want her to go because where she's working. Wait. Which one, where she, why do you want her to go and you are here? Listen, all your problems started from that house. Immediately you are building it. Then all your asshole demons say, you, who do you think you are? That you will build this house here. That's how they started fighting everything around you. Even your marriage is just a fruit. The root is there, that house. You losing your marriage is a fruit. Even your business is zero. Yes. You have workers, not, not workers before. You have workers. Workers, a lot. I yeah. train them. Some, I fed them in the streets. I train them how to fix a car. Then I set them free to go and start them for their own. But now, they are even better than you. Yes. Huh? Yes. Only thing I just managed to get is a managed property. I bought property here last year. It was a managed. Then we moved from rent to the house. As soon as we moved to the house, no peace, nothing, no joy. There is somebody in between you and your wife relationship that is trying to distract both of you. It's a person. And it's the one getting you people's attention. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Mm. You should not leave her. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. You shouldn't leave her. I need to see your wife. Mm. God does not want you to scatter the home yet. Thank you, sir. I, uh, why are you saying thank you? My kids, my first daughter is 15 years. We stayed together almost 16 years now. When I came to this country, then I was still in York. So me and she, we grew up together. You and your wife? Yeah. We stayed together. I met her when she was this small as well. She went to Nigeria, come back already to meet my mom. So what's wrong with her in her working place? Where they are working, come back late, sometimes she's drunk. 
I tried to speak to her. But you listen, you are what I told you. I said there's somebody between you and your wife. Don't worry. She needs deliverance. Don't leave her alone. She needs your help more now. All the demon that is attacking her is from you, from whom? Don't put the blame on her. They're attacking her to torment you. So there's somebody, that, there's somebody, it's a parable. There's somebody in between you and your wife. So she needs to be free. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So I'm going to see you. Thank you, sir. 